got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink, dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. find a next of kin but it was just something about a platinum chip well if you're heading back out there you ought to have this they call it a pip boy i grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war we all got one ain't much used to be now but you might want such a thing after what you've been through i know what it's like having something taken from you and put this on Look down the site. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Nice shot. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. That's close enough. Who are you, and what do you want with me? Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of Caravan? You know how to play? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. All I've got left on me are a handful of caps, but you get me out of this and I'll make sure the Crimson Caravan pays you back. You've got my word. We'd just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. They're getting set up in cover, but it might not go well unless we get out there soon.
owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand. I did have what was left of the Crimson Caravan money, but I wasn't sure if it was my right to just give it away. I owe you more than that, though, so look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp up in New Vegas if you ever visit. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Johnson Nash is my name. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Oh, so you're talking about one of them packages. That job had Strange written all over it. But we couldn't turn down the caps. That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on him, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. Why, yes I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. Indeed I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. Oh, why, uh, of course. I'd never let you fight my kidnappers with my help. But without it. You lead the way. Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Breaking myself out of a hostage situation, not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prim. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. I was uh, performing recon, gathering information on some of the powder gangers, when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you? They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. Hello there. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider, I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. 
Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. No problem. See that? That crazy bitch just attacked me out of nowhere. No, none at all. We've been traveling together since I picked her up a few days ago, and she's been friendly this whole time. We'd actually been flirting a little when she suddenly pulled a gun out and began yelling at me to hand my caps over. Now that I think of it, though, she laughed when I threw her my money. I think what she really wanted was my Lucky Charm necklace. Yeah, every once in a while you can find a cap with a blue star on it. They're pretty rare, so I started collecting them. Once I had enough, I made a necklace out of them, since I thought they were lucky. What? The hell I will! Smell that air! Couldn't you just drink it like booze? <laughs> what lottery? The lottery, that's what lottery! Are you stupid? Only lottery that matters! Oh, oh my god, smell that air! <laughs> Bye. Are you fucking kidding me? First I get my leg smashed, and then in walks the Powder Ganger's grim fucking reaper. What the fuck have you got against us, man? Jesus fucking Christ. If you want me dead, just give me 15 medics and I'll fucking OD for you, okay? Fuck! The Legion happened. What the fuck's it look like? I don't know. I just love it here. What the fuck do you think, asshole? prize for second place was I got to live, but they beat my fucking legs with hammers. I'm fucking crippled, get it? It ain't like we came to Nipton to play it. Me and my crew had it worked out to kidnap some NCR troopers who come to town to get laid. Had it all worked out with the scumbag mayor. We were gonna ransom them off, keep their weapons for ourselves, a nice score. We get in position, and next thing we know, we're surrounded by those fucking Legion freaks. They dragged us and everybody else into the center of town. And that asshole with a dog on his head, he starts talking about how we're bad people. He said we needed to be punished for what we did. Not all of us, but some of us. And then he gives everyone a fucking lottery ticket. What do you think? He started drawing tickets and that's how people got punished. First up was the lucky losers. They got decapitated. Guess that's lucky cause it's pretty quick. Then came the crucifixions. God damn, but those went on and on and on. Third place runners up got enslaved. I got the fuck beat out of my legs in the winter, they let go free. Don't worry. I won't have you lashed to a cross like the rest of these degenerates. It's useful that you happen by. I want you to witness the fate of the town of Nipton, to memorize every detail. And then, when you move on, I want you to teach everyone you meet the lesson that Kaisar's Legion taught here, especially any NCR troops you run across. Where to begin? That they are weak, and we are strong? This much was known already. But the depths of their moral sickness, their 
Dissolution? Nipton serves as the perfect object lesson. Ha! <laughs> Innocent. Hardly. Cowardly, though. They outnumbered us. Yet not once did they try to resist. They stood and watched as their fellows were butchered, crucified, and burned. One by one, they stood and hoped their turn would not come. Each cared only for himself. Then I bid you, Wale, until we meet again. <laughs>